Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome to Catch Fish Not Feelings. So it's summer here in Orange County, Southern California, and that means it's catfish season. So my goal of this video is to educate you on how to catch more catfish. Before we get started, just be familiar with your local rules and regulations. And according to the law in California, if you are 16 and older, you do need a fishing license. And if you're under 16, then fishing is free for you. And that's great. I'll leave a link below on how to get a fishing license that might help you. You can also find fishing licenses at your local stores such as Walmart, Big Five, local fishing stores, they might have them as well too. But let's get right into it. So what is a catfish? I feel like when it comes to fishing, it's important to know exactly what you're fishing for. And that's more about learning how the fish behaves, where it lives, and what kind of food it eats. So here in Orange County, it's mainly going to be channel catfishes that get stocked in our local ponds. And they range around probably one to two pounds but they can get up to about 40 pounds big. Called catfishes because they resemble cats. They have like little whiskers on their mouths called barbels that they use to sense food in the water. And you notice that these fishes will have very big mouths that they use to kind of swallow their bait whole. And they have very small eyes. And so with small eyes, they probably have poor eyesight and they rely on their sense of smell more to find their food. So this leads on to what do catfish eat? What kind of bait do you need to catch these fishes? Remember, these fishes rely on their sense of smell to find their food. So you want something that would give off a lot of scent, something that's oily or bloody. And so popular choices are earthworms. You can't go around with that. You can use cut up mackerel, cut shrimp, and some people even use chicken liver. You know, all of these baits are gonna like disperse oils and smells in the water for the fishes to find. My personal favorite is using cut mackerel. I'll go to the pier, catch some fresh ones or go to the supermarket and buy some and I'll use that as bait. It works very well, it gives off a very good bloody and oily scent in the water. Remember how I said that catfishes are bottom dwellers? Well, that's gonna affect how you tie your fishing line. There's a lot of different setups that would work really well. You know, there's not one setup that works, but generally you want a fishing rig that keeps your bait at the bottom. Because again, these fishes are gonna be found right at the bottom and that's where, gonna be, that's where they're mainly gonna be staying. So my favorite rig to tie is the Carolina rig. You have your main line, you have a bullet weight, you have a swivel, your leader line, and your hook. In this rig, the weight is higher up, so it's gonna keep your bait at the bottom. Another potentially good rig to use is the fish finder rig. It's the same concept, but you do have a fish finding swivel instead. And that swivel lets the line slide back and forth in case the catfish wants to like run away with your bait more. And it's the same concept where you wanna keep your bait near the bottom where the catfishes are. So when it comes to the weight, Again, you're not fishing super deep or anything. The ponds are probably five feet max, and you really only need a quarter ounce weight to an ounce weight. In terms of how strong of a line you need, I'd recommend anywhere from four pounds to 12 pounds. You know, again, these catfishes are probably gonna be around one to two pounds each. And again, you're not finding a tuna or anything, so you don't need anything too heavy. And I'd recommend a size two slash O circle hook. So that way, when you do hook onto the fish, you have a higher chance of hooking the fish on the side of its mouth. So now that you know how to catch catfish, the next questions are, where can I find them? When should I fish for them? And how many can I keep? So where can you find the catfishes? So the County of Orange and the Department of Fish and Wildlife have worked together to create a stocking schedule telling you when and where these catfishes are gonna get stocked. You can go on Google, search up Orange County Catfish Stocking 2021, and you know several links will pop up. This first link right here is by the Department of Fish and Wildlife. 
and it tells you when the catfishes are going to get stalked and where. And if you're not from Orange County, you can also search up different areas as well too. This next website is the more up-to-date website and this is by the OC Parks. So there's a list of all these different parks in Orange County you can check out. There are certain weekends you can find them in. There's no specific days, but it doesn't hurt to try one of those weekends. So when should you go catching them? Generally, the first few days after the stalking is gonna be your best bet because on the very first day, these catfishes need some time to just get used to the water, get used to their surroundings. Then afterwards, they become more active in terms of looking for food, finding out what's in the lake. In terms of time, generally these fishes will bite all day, but I've personally found them to be more active either early in the morning or later at night. Definitely at night, they're going to be relying on their strong sense of smell more to find food since it's, you know, it's darker, it's, they can't really see. For the first few days of the stalk, these fishes tend to school together just because they're not used to the surroundings. And so if you're not finding them in one spot of the lake, then try moving to a different spot, you know, try walking around, seeing where everyone else is catching them because you might just find the whole school. So now that you're catching catfish, how many can you keep? It all really depends on which pond or lake you go to because some ponds or lakes may have different rules. So it doesn't hurt to search it up. But for most places, the limit is going to be five catfishes. And trust me, it's definitely not worth it to break this rule because you can get fined up to $500 per fish that you keep over. And when you think about it, is one catfish really worth $500? I don't think so, or I hope not. As a fellow fisherman, it's important to just keep what you need, you know? Sometimes having five to 10 catfishes in the freezer is just gonna take up too much space at home and you might just forget about it, you know? Do you really wanna be eating that much catfish for the next few days, for the next few weeks, you know? You know, taking what you need ensures that, you know, other people get a chance to catch them. It lets other families and their kids have fun reeling them in. And for the most part, a lot of these catfishes are going to get overfished eventually, but you never know. There might be a few, one or two that survive and they just grow extremely big in the pond. But for these bigger ones, I don't recommend eating them just because they're in such a small body of water that they accumulate toxins and it's just not safe to eat but they are fun to fish for. And eventually you'll have next year as well too because the Department of Fish and Wildlife stock these fishes every year during the summer when it gets warmer. I hope that this video helps you catch more fishes and if you have any other advice or tips, feel free to leave them in the comments below. You know, I'm no expert and your advice is not gonna really help me, but it's gonna help everyone else who's watching this video as well too. And I hope you guys enjoy these next few clips of me catching catfish. And remember, catch fish, not feelings.